In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply binomials using a method called boxes. The idea behind boxes is that we can find the area of a box by multiplying the length times the width to get the area inside. We'll follow this same pattern as we draw a box for each of these problems. Here, we're multiplying 4x plus 7y times 3x minus 2y. As we do that, we'll put the 4x plus 7y down the side, splitting it in the middle, and the 3x minus 2y across the top. What we will do is, inside each of these boxes, we will list the area, or what we get when we multiply the row and column headers. This first box has 4x by 3x. 4x times 3x is 12x squared. Moving on to the second box, we see it's got 4x by negative 2y for its headers. 4x times negative 2y is negative 8xy. In the bottom left, the headers are 7y, times 3x is 21xy. In the final box, we have negative 2y times 7y, which is negative 14y squared. We now can combine each of these terms to find our polynomial solution. As we do, we'll want to combine like terms as well, which we will find diagonal from each other. First, we have the 12x squared, then the diagonal like terms, which will be negative 8xy plus 21xy is positive 13xy, and finally, the last box has negative 14y squared. This is our total area, or our product, when multiplying the polynomials together. Let's take a look at using this box method on another example. In the second example, we have 2x minus y times 4x minus 5y. Drawing a box to represent the problem, we have 2x and a minus y times down the side, and 4x and a minus 5y across the top. In each box, we'll put the product of the headers, 4x times 2x, is 8x squared. In the second box, 2x times negative 5y is negative 10xy. In the bottom left box, we have negative y times 4x is negative 4xy. Finally, in the last box, we have negative y times negative 5y, which is positive 5y squared. Again, combining this together will give us our polynomial solution. Our like terms are diagonal from each other, and we'll combine those at this time. First, we have the 8x squared, then the like terms negative 4x and negative 10x, y, sorry, xy, gives us negative 14xy, and finally, we have the positive 5y squared. This product is our solution as we multiply using boxes. To multiply by boxes, we lined up the problems on the left and top sides of the box, and in each box listed the area or product of the column and row headers.